impressed in terms of uh, uh, the the performance. I think uh, the players put up. When you look at uh, their previous game, you know, uh, a lot of people were surprised. But of, but for me, I was not surprised because I knew, you know, we have quality players. Uh, the important thing is for the players, like I have said in my previous interview, is for them to, you know, uh, recognize and assume the responsibility of, you know, wanting to win and wanting to uh, to have success in this uh, Cameroonian Afcon, and I think uh, they did that perfectly against Egypt. They were able, you know, to control the game. Uh, they were able, you know, uh, create a lot of chances. Unfortunately for them, you know, they only uh, took one. But the good thing is that uh, I think they started on a clean sheet and a very good, uh, you know, uh, confidence and a very good uh, of in terms of inspiring people to believe that. Uh, it's possible you know going far in this tournament all right so coach there's this perception of some people that you know the super eagles team currently don't have the big boys i mean they say a team where ihana cho are the senior players do you think it's a right perception and do you think it's fair on the work that these boys you know put in no matter the outcome well i don't know what is big boys and uh, small boys about, I think... Uh, you know, when they talk about the big man, um, um, the late coach Stephen Keshi in that era, um, when he was the, the team, the era of the, the boom, coach you know, and, era, yes. Well, uh, of course, the, the reality is that generation changes, you know. Uh, uh, the generation of uh, Keshi and the generation of... Uh, uh, let's say today, the Hinacho and uh, Awoni and then Didi uh, Ekong. Uh, these are generation that, uh, after a very long time, we are trying to, uh, you know, establish the same level of confidence in terms of our players. So I think for me, well, I'm a, I'm a former player and I'm a coach. Uh, the the issue of big boys, not big boys, doesn't entice me. What matter is. Uh, what can every one of them in the team, you know, bring on board to make the team to succeed? I think that's the key. Well, if you're a big boy, I think probably maybe that's people by special, what they see, big boy, small boy. But for me, I think everybody is equal in the team. And uh, uh, if they can, you know, uh, work together as a team, and then that will, that will you know, afford them the possibility of uh, of of doing well and also, you know, having inspiration to, to win. Uh, if they can, you know, uh, work together as a team, and then that will, that will, you know, afford them the possibility of, uh, of, of doing well and also, you know, having inspiration to, to win the tournament. About five of you on the 17 World Cup winning players are in this team. And one, of course, made his official debut, Kelechi Mwakale. How proud are you as a coach? Well, I'm proud with, uh, I can tell you that I'm proud, not only with uh, the boys that, uh, you know, uh, that went through me. Of course, I'm happy for them. Uh, I knew these players when I was with them in the under-17, I knew that uh, they have something special. But also, I always emphasize to them that uh, hard work, if you don't work hard and uh, you only believe in your talent, it's not going to take you far because football has gone beyond just being talented, uh, you have to complement it with other factors, you know, that make you to be a much better player. So I'm happy for them, and uh, I pray uh, that they can, you know, uh, how will I say it? Uh, I pray that they can continue to, to, to exhibit the quality and the talent in them. They can use it to put smiles in the face of Nigerians. I think uh, I have always said it, if we are today still talking about uh, we have to, our generation 94 have to be better than the generation now, we are not, we are not thinking in times of progression or progressive, I mean, so the players now, they should be better than us, the players now, they should do more than us, the players now, they should even win more titles than us, and then we as a country, Nigeria, we cannot, you know, analyze things from a holistic point of view, and then we say, okay, yeah, we are really progressing. So I'm happy for them and I'm happy that we are having young players in the team. What we need to do is to continue to inspire them and encourage them and then hopefully they can be in a position, you know, to, to bring glory to the